I think what's f- tremendous about those Winter Sundays by Robert Hayden is the way that he captures both his father's affection for him and the silence surrounding it. That's very hard to do. It's hard to say, I know now that he loved me and this is how he showed it. You know, people talk about love languages and this is what you're seeing is him by waking up early in the blue black cold. And you know, if you've woken up in a house without heat that requires you to start the heat, um, you know what that feels like. You know, it feels real different than pressing a button and you're warm all the time. And I think that that's really, there's something tremendously powerful and generous about that act. And it's an everyday selfless act. You know, there's a tension also between them being able to speak to each other as father and son in this house. And I think before I lost my father, what did I know of love's austere and lonely offices? There's a quality in that of regret Uh, but also of reclaiming and revisiting this painful gap that I think Hayden names in a way that no one else does. Um, That last question, I think, just rings me out so many different ways. Um, But he's also, through the precision and through the form, able to make that love legible to us in a way it wasn't to him as a child. And that is a really powerful moment in American poetry, in world poetry, in human life. You know, how do you talk about what you know and then teach someone at the same time? You know, what you didn't know. How do you talk about what you didn't know and then teach someone at the same time? And that's what I think Hayden achieves in those winter Sundays. Mm-hmm.